today I got a new rifle review for you guys, a new AEG. This one is from, pretty interestingly, it is an EMG licensed annual defense Mark 18 by ICS. So three different companies all coming together for this one rifle. Um, we'll get into the price and the specs and all that, but first things first, let's get right into the unboxing. Let's get that out of the way. All right, as you saw, there was the uh, there was a box. It's here now. Uh, there's the gun. Got this nice bright yellow, uh, big old Daniel Defense, lighter, stronger, better. You got what the gun looks like out in the front, so you know exactly what you're buying. Uh, you also have a kind of a little spec thingy telling you which model it is and also what FPS version it is. Um, also the color. Um, there's, I believe, four different colors for this. Um, so yeah, that's the box, pretty nice. Inside the box comes the gun. You also get an ICS uh, advert, an unjamming rod, as always. Uh, you also get an ICS um, product instruction manual with a QR code and a Daniel Defense uh, product registration, as well as a mid cap magazine that is metal you also get a uh, what is this called a Dean's connection and some fuses so some fuses for the gun um, it also is supposed to come with a paper manual but uh, I bought mine in the store I didn't get it shipped and for whatever reason I didn't even know it came with a paper manual but it was supposed to, and it was not in the box. When I bought it, the lady showed it to me, and like I said, I had no idea. Um, so she just said, oh, here's the manual, and it was a QR code. So um, not a big deal. I mean, you know, just kind of pull it up on your phone. You're not really gonna lug around the piece of paper anyway. So while you're on the field, you're gonna use the uh, PDF on your phone. So that's everything that comes with the box. Um, and I'll get into the attachments that I put on there. Uh, obviously, it doesn't come with all the attachments straight out of the box, so let's get into the gun. All right, like I said, this is the EMG Daniel Defense Mark 18 by ICS. So the platform itself is an ICS, but it has some Daniel Defense furnishing as well as some EMG furnishing that they added on. Now, some things that I've added on, uh, being my this is not my main loadout uh, that I use uh, at outdoor parks and sometimes indoors and I'll get into that in a second but I have my Knight's Armament um, tracer unit also have my Olight flashlight with the pressure pad uh, my outdoor uh, optic cover as well as a mock EOTech uh, and this bottom kind of stubby grip so uh, the tracer unit the flashlight the pad the cover the sight the optic and the grip do not come with the gun. Those are sold separately. So it just looks a lot better when it's all together, right? It, other than that, it's just a regular old uh, AR platform gun. So, but let's get right into it. This thing is an ICS, like I said, at heart. So it comes with a lot of features. Those of you guys know ICS, they don't just make airsoft guns. They're kind of always innovating. They're kind of the forerunners with Kind of quirky little things that they add to airsoft guns that maybe people wouldn't really suspect um so but that does come with a pretty hefty price tag currently you can pick this up on e-bike for 479 before tax so uh do with that what you will um it did drop in price i believe it was like 5 30 uh, about a year ago so it did drop in price which is nice um, they're probably coming out with newer models, so this one is a little bit a little bit cheaper, which is nice. Um, it does come with two different versions that you can get uh, FPS-wise. So you can buy the 400 FPS version or the 350 FPS version. Now the box says it ranges between 380 and 400 on my box, because I got the 400 FPS version. And I'm assuming the 350 probably says between Probably says between 340 and 360, right? Just to kind of ballpark um, what it is, but who knows? Um, when I did get this though, it was chronoing at 360. 
I don't know if it was, I don't know if this was like a store model, a rent model. Um, I bought it supposedly brand new, but like I said, it was missing the manual. I didn't get it on sale, so I didn't pay full price. Um, it was like a sale that e-bike was having online and they honored it in the store. So that was nice. Um, so, you know, I've, I've fixed things since and I'll tell you a couple of other upgrades that I've added to it. Um, not necessary, not necessary to add, but it's just kind of little things that I like to, that I really wanted to fine tune it for what I was using it for. So we'll get into the furnishing. So there are four different colors. So there's the all black, um, and then there's the dark earth handguard with the rest of it being black, which is this model. They also have the complete dark earth. So you get this color, but all around, except I think the hand grip and the uh, butt stock. And then they have a gray version, like I said. So everything's kind of grayed out uh, with the grip, the body, and um, except for the uh, pistol grip and the, uh, what's it called? Butt stock. So uh, I think those are always black. Um, let's see, it's a aluminum alloy receiver. So it is relatively light, but you know, once you start adding things, um, it is kind of front heavy at this point. Um, maybe it is pretty balanced. I don't know. Yeah, so it's not too bad, right? You add weight in the front with the light and the suppressor, but um, I think they add some counterweights in the rear just to kind of give you some heft. Um, so that way you can add accessories without kind of throwing yourself off a little bit. Uh, we have an EMG, uh, what do they call it? Zeta stock. So you got this nice rubber padding with the EMG uh, kind of like logo stamped into it. Not bad. I mean, it's comfortable. I just wish the logo wasn't there. But I mean, no one's looking that deep while you're shooting at them. So, right. Multi-position stock. It's nice and easy. The button's down here. You also have a couple of... Um, what is it called? Anchor points for your slings. You got your mock uh, forward assist, if I'm saying that correctly. Oh, sorry. So we're going to work from stock to the front uh, when it comes to features. So something that I really like about this one specifically, this um, Zeta stock, and why I haven't swapped it out yet, um, is in order to access the battery, you're going to pull this and then rotate it. So you don't pop it off, you don't lose it, you can't drop it, right? It's kind of fixed there. It has a spring and it's really well tensioned. It's not gonna move when it's like in place. Also, there's like notches to keep it in place. Um, also, Dean's connections, wow, holy crap. Nice to have it. Also, like I said before, there's um, the fuse for it. So if it's over, uh, you know, if it blows the fuse, it's gonna blow the fuse and not blow your internals. But I mean, this thing has, Pretty good amount of safety measures for you to keep your um, internals nice and safe. You got plenty of space for batteries, uh, preferably, you know, 11-1, kind of the three stick. Uh, that's usually what I use. You know, you can get something slimmer, uh, but I wouldn't go thicker than that just because it gets a little tight in here, especially if uh, you don't want to have some good airflow to keep your battery cool. Anyway, so like I said, you just pull it here, rotate it, and it's locked in place. Also, you have a quick detach points here right on this left and right side. So it goes all the way through. Um, overall design, Zeta stock looks awesome. It's not some regular looking stock, comes with some nice features. So there's that. All right, working our way towards the front. We're gonna be talking about the next Zeta item that they have on here. So this is an EMG Zeta grip. It is uh, 20 degrees. So it's a little bit more, how should I say, a little bit more f comfortable, right? It's I think turned down a little bit more as opposed to having like a traditional rifle stock kind of sits like that so then your wrist is nice and comfortable and I can attest to it it is very comfortable to use and maneuver right when you're coming around corners and you're moving with it you're not straining your wrist um, let's see what else uh, there's no ambidextrous controls it's kind of your standard like if it was a military issued right so you have your a selector switch, your bolt release, and then your magazine release is back here. You got iron sights in the back and front. Uh, you also got this nice charging handle that opens that up. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if it's supposed to lock, but it doesn't, the dust cover. So you kind of have to hold it in place. Well, actually it's not supposed to, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, 
Oh, we'll get into it now. It is an electric blowback or yeah, electric blowback. So every time that you pull the trigger, this thing will go back. Now it doesn't simulate that much recoil. It just kind of, um, you know, flies back and forth and it's, it's pretty cool. Nice to have, right? You have it closed and you f fire your first shot and the little thing goes back and as you shoot, it goes back kind of simulating like a real, um, firearm, but obviously it's just this little cover, right? This doesn't move. It's this, just this little section moves. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I left the sticker on there. So caution blowback function, right? As you can see here, I will take that off soon. Uh, what else? You have your standard Daniel defense markings, right? So you got your mark 18 here, Daniel defense stamped here, Black Creek, uh, Georgia, USA, M4 carbine, yada, 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 five, five, six. Your good old fashioned Daniel defense furnishing. Um, that's it for that body section. The trigger, uh, it is an electronic trigger. Uh, it's programmable. It's ICS's S3 electronic trigger. So um, as this is programmed, how, how it's currently programmed, so we have safe, semi, and then kind of like an AUG, um, if you just tap the tr trigger when it's on auto, it'll do a burst, but when you hold it down, it goes full auto. So, um, Pretty nice to have, you could turn that off, right? You can kind of switch things around. Uh, you have to look at the manual and kind of program it from there. There's no programming card. You have to program it through the trigger, but it's pretty easy. Once you get your settings set, you're not really gonna mess with it all that much. Um, all right, onto the four grip. Uh, it is a, I don't remember. I'll put the information here, um, but it's the Daniel Defense uh, Mark 18 RIS-2. So all your, RIS-2 uh, attachments can go on this, no problem, right? Any kind of standard uh, standard issue attachments can go on here. As you can see, I got a grip, I got a flashlight, I've got the pressure pad here, so. Um, that's it for its kind of aesthetics. Um, powering this thing is the ICS EVO 1 motor uh, which I haven't had any issues with. Um, it says it, it's capable of having higher RPMs than what it comes with. So this thing is upgradable out of the box. It's going to be able to handle it, right? All the internals are going to handle whatever you throw at it. The motor's going to be able to handle it, um, up to a certain point, right? Don't, don't, don't abuse it too much. Don't throw in a crazy battery and expect it to, Oh, well you said it was going to be fine. Like, you know, use common sense. Um, so into the kind of quirks, um, like I said about this gun it is an ICS, so it comes with weird things or I call them beneficial things. They're just really nice to have. Like I said, uh, we already talked about one of them, which was the EMG. Well, that's more of an EMG thing, but, um, the grip also, or the buttstock, also the grip. So you have these two pins, right? And if you want to access the motor, you just push those pins out and the cover falls off and then you can access the motor. So no more, um, you know, stripping bolts and stuff. If you want to adjust it, right, it's right here, the height of the motor. So you can do that easily. But if you want to take it out and unplug it, then you just knock these little metal rods out. You can push them out with your finger and then finish pushing them out with some sort of, um, you know, thin object to kind of just push it all the way through. But nice and easy. It's kind of like less specific tools and more just like things you can have lying around while you, so you can maintain your uh, equipment a lot easier. Um, another ICS feature, and this is probably the biggest one and I will need a tool for it. So give me one second. So I have my hex key here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock the rear pin out and you know, you could do this a lot more smoother than I'm going to do it. So now that you have that rear pin removed, don't lose it. Guess what this thing has? Not only is it electronic blowback, it is a split gearbox. What? So, I mean, talk about easeability or having it easy to just be able to swap things out in the middle of games. 
I was at Battle Lab and I was letting people borrow my kind of CQB stuff and I needed this thing to be CQB so I could use it. And I was able to just pop out the spring, right? So here's kind of the upper half of the, um, the uh, gearbox and you just use a hex key once again, uh, you push in quarter turn or half turn and you pop it out and there is your spring. So super easy to swap out. That was really convenient to have. Um, I mean, when you're doing maintenance on these things, if you guys ever opened up a like old school, not an old school, but you know, something that doesn't have a quick change spring or doesn't have a split gearbox. If you ever mess with those, you'll know that it's a hassle to get back together or to take it apart in the first place, right? You got the spring kind of fighting against you and it's just a pain in the butt. So that's um, probably the coolest thing about this replica is just how <clears throat> realistic it is really. Um, right, it comes with, it just, it looks like a real thing and it kind of functions like the real thing, right? It, it moves back and forth. You can crack it open like a real M4. You can you know, work on it like a real M4, just kind of like being able to open it and look at the parts and kind of mess with it. So it's really nice. Um, so I know I'm missing a lot. I'm sure I'm missing a lot. You know, go go ahead and check out the uh, e-bike website and uh, see what kind of other features. And if you really want to get specific into what this thing has and whatnot, um, go ahead and check out their website. They're going to have a lot more information when it comes to, you know, selling the rifle to you. Um, usage wise, right? And this is kind of where these at home reviews come in is, um, like I said, out of the box, this thing was shooting kind of lower FPS, 360, when it was advertised as 400. So uh, changes had to be made. Um, another thing that I noticed was it was kind of lacking in range. And I know it's a Mark 18, right? The barrel only, the inner barrel only goes out this much and that's as much as you're gonna get. The hop up for me just wasn't cutting it. I'm sure it's great, I'm sure it's fine. You probably just would need to finagle with it a little bit more. But like I said, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just a big, and I'm sure you already noticed, a Max Model hop up simp, right? So I have the Max Model, um, the orange aluminum version, the rotary hop up. Also, another thing that I like about it is because I was always, I would always forget, is it up? Is it down? Am I doing more pressure on the BB? Am I doing less? So like, I try to keep things as simple as possible for myself. So this thing, the fact that it has numbers, lets me remember, hey, it's shooting at this FPS with this, right? Or the group is like at this size with this number on the hop up. So I just like to make things a little bit easier for myself. I know they're making it as easy as possible, but um, so I did upgrade the hop up. I put a, um, oh my God, the maple leaf, the purple, I think it might be 70 degrees, uh, bucking and nub. Um, the inner barrel, I did swap it out. I swapped it out for a tight bore mad bull inner barrel. I believe it is a 6.02. I could be wrong, but I also got it. They didn't sell the exact size, for that barrel so I ended up getting it a little bit longer than the original but I'm talking like you know maybe a quarter of an inch longer but hey you know I'll take a quarter of an inch maybe it's gonna add a little bit of distance um, it still doesn't interfere with the with the tracer unit so that's nice uh, but I was able to fine-tune this thing way easier um, I got the grouping like down to like the size of a quarter um, at about, I want to say 20 feet, right? And then if you see all the, if you saw the e-bike video on this, they say, oh, don't, you know, the max weight for BBs that they recommend would be 0.2s or 0.25s or whatever, nothing higher than that. Um, I like to run 0.25s or 0.28s. So the max model hop up was able to get me to use those heavier BBs and to kind of really fine tune where I need to put pressure on those BBs to really um, get to the more get them where I was going because it was just kind of kind of just felt like it was Falling and I'm sure if you saw those gameplay videos, you would have noticed me playing with this because this is what I've been playing with the past year 
um, while I was waiting for another thing. It's finally here, but we'll see. Um, I gotta wait to play with that one to see uh, a review on it. So we'll get there when we get there. I know it's been slow. So, oh, a couple other little cool thingies. So the 11.1 volt battery, obviously, right? Um, another thing that this thing does, so maybe I'll just show it. All right, so I got my 11.1 battery in here. Uh, this is an Echo One. Um, like I said, the uh, triple kind of chewing gum looking sticks. But anyway, you just throw it in there, plug it in, get those wires nice and stuffed. Voila. Make sure you're not pinching any of the wires and you're nice and clear. So, like I said, um, I'll show you guys the electric blowback that this thing has. It is, right? So, as you can see, it opened it up and it's gonna, maybe you can't see it because it's going pretty fast, but anyway. Um, and then as well as the auto, I'll show you the just tap, right? So you just tap it and it's three and then once you hold on to it, it's full auto. But if you notice, this thing kind of pre-cocks and you'll hear it once I go from semi to safe. So that is a detensioner. So it is actually taking away tension from the spring, right? So it kind of, like I said, it kind of pre-cocks um, to, you know, for whatever pre-cocking does. But once you put it on safe, you're gonna store it away uh, as soon as you switch it on safe, it's going to decompress the spring. So it's going to make your spring last longer. It's going to save your internals a lifetime of issues. So that is just one more thing that ICS kind of added with this kind of system that really adds to like how special it is, I should say. Um, it just kind of like really interesting features that you wouldn't normally think about, right? Or maybe you need to get Titan for it to do that, but you know, it all comes in one package. So um, I know it is a little bit more expensive. It is a, but at the end of the day, you're spending less than half of what some other companies, <laughs> Umbrella Armories, charge you for a kind of upgraded gun, right? This is, you're gonna be able to take this thing out of the box, tweak it, really make it your own, and for less than a price of one of those high-end custom guns, you'll have something that's really yours, really unique, really special, right? A split gearbox. You have a 20 degree bear, um, grip, you have this really cool stock, you have the detensioner, you have the electric blowback, you have all these cool features. So it is a fantastic gun. I'm really enjoying it. I, I wanna keep this thing for as long as I can because I am really, really, really liking it. Um, right? I usually keep a sling on this thing, but so that's pretty much it. I guess this is my review of the uh, EMG Daniel Defense Mark 18 in the uh, Dark Earth uh, hand grip color model. So, um, you know, if you have one of these, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Uh, if you're interested, you know, just let me know down in the comments, you know, kind of what you're running or uh, if you would be interested in getting one of these, right? Do these features, are they necess not necessary, but is there something are they something that you're interested in adding or having and should more airsoft guns kind of or more airsoft companies aim towards like adding more realism to your gun right i know it keeps the cost down but you know just let me know down in the comments what you think of this rifle i really like it um you know would you pick one up so thank you guys for uh, sticking around i'll see you guys out in the field